Hello everybody, it's Lurks here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today is how to remove the dispenser drawer on a Bormatic washing machine. The dispenser drawer over time, Esther. Hello. <laughs> over time, the dispenser drawer will get full of gunk and gunge and mold. And you don't want that going down and getting in your clothes when you do a wash, right? Let's get cracking. Before we get started, there's a link above now about how to install a washing machine. This is the Bormatic washing machine here and the dispenser slash detergent drawer is in the top left hand corner. So just gently pull it out until it reaches a point where it won't go any further. And you've got this blue level indicator for your fabric softener. So what you do is you just push down on that. That just gives you a bit of extra space. And then you can just pull out the whole dispenser drawer. As you can see, this one is pretty filthy dirty and needs a really good clean. What you can do is you can take out the fabric softener level indicator and give that a good clean. And then take your wife's toothbrush and with some hot soapy water, just give it a really, really good scrub inside and out. Look, you've been using my toothbrush for cleaning. Um, no. Once you've given it a really good clean, it should look like this. Before you put the detergent drawer back in, it's definitely worth cleaning the inside here. So again, just get some hot soapy water and a wet cloth and just give that a really good clean inside. Don't be tempted to use your wife's toothbrush in here because it could fall down that hole and damage your washing machine. Then to put it back in, just line it up with the grooves and push it all the way home. And there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. After you've done that, it's definitely worth checking the inside of the washing machine. So just open the door. And as you can see, this one here needs a really good clean. So again, take a hot soapy cloth and just give that a really good scrub. You can also take your toothbrush if it's really bad and just give that a good clean inside the grooves there. If you've got any drainage holes, make sure they're nice and clear. Once you've finished all that, then put the washing machine on the hottest setting that it will go and just do a wash without anything in there just to flush out the whole system. And there's a link above now about various how-to guides on all sorts of makes and models of washing machines. And then don't forget to put your wife's toothbrush back and hope she doesn't notice. And then it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. If there's any other useful videos around here, then please select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really appreciate it.